Hello and welcome to Point of View. Chinese astronomers want to build an observatory in the Tibetan Plateau. On Earth's surface, there are only a few high-quality astronomical sites that meet the requirements for very large next-generation facilities. Currently, the world's best astronomical observatories are mainly located in the Western Hemisphere. In high-altitude places like the summit of Mauna Kea in Hawaii, La Palma in the Canary Islands, and the Cerro Paranal summit in the Atacama Desert in Chile. But there are pristine locations with clear views of the sky in the Eastern Hemisphere as well. A team of Chinese astronomers are now planning to build an observatory in the Tibetan Plateau, part of the larger region of Asia that's commonly called the Roof of the World. The group recently published a new paper in Nature, a weekly international science and technology journal, describing the potential they see at the summit of Saishitang Mountain near the town of Lenghu in Xinghai province near Tibet. More than 2.5 miles or 4.4 kilometers in altitude, Lenghu has been known to have unusually clear skies. The area has a spectacular landscape similar to Mars, claim Chinese scientists. Deng Lisai, a scientist with Chinese Academy of Science, and his team have surveyed the area to see whether it would be a good place to build an observatory. Four major factors affect how suitable any location will be for astronomical research. The first is whether it has clear view of skies. That means no dense cloud formations and very little light pollution. The second is the stability of local air and weather conditions and what effect the atmosphere will have on optical and infrared observations at night. Even the tiniest particles in the air can interfere. The third is whether the site is connected to infrastructure like power and can be accessed without too much trouble. And lastly, you want an area where the night sky will be protected from human activity. High altitude spots like Lenghu are of great interest to astronomers since there's simply less atmosphere to peer through while looking out at objects in space. The researchers monitored the area for three years, measuring the darkness of the sky, the weather, the atmospheric conditions and more. They found that the area scored really high on all four factors. In many ways, the site could be better than existing sites in Hawaii and Chile. There's less variability in air temperatures and more stable atmospheric conditions and the skies are slightly clearer. The amount of water vapor in the air is also low, which is especially useful for infrared observations important to cosmology. About three decades of weather records reveal just an average of 0.71 inches of rain a year. This means Lenghu has the potential to host large facilities. In the long run, Lenghu may be more protected from the effects of human activity than Hawaii and Chile. The town passed rules in 2017 to preserve the dark sky, so light pollution should remain minimal. The results presented for the Lenghu site are nearly as good as those found in Mauna Kea in Hawaii, which is widely regarded as one of the best sites in the world. This new research is an affirmation of China's current astronomy plans for the area around Lenghu. Those plans include a 2.5 meter imaging survey telescope that began construction in 2021, a one meter solar infrared telescope that will be part of an international array of eight telescopes and two others at 1.8 meters and 0.8 meters for planetary science. China's Tsinghua University and the University of Arizona are working together to build a 6.5 meter telescope to operate on the Saishitang mountain summit. There are also plans for a 12 meter telescope to be installed there as well. These instruments will go far in getting China on the map where infrared and optical astronomy are concerned. They are on par with some of the large telescopes operated in places like Chile. 
but there are extremely large observatories being built around the world, such as the 24.5 meter Giant Magellan Telescope in Chile, the 30 meter telescope in Hawaii, and the 39.3 meter extremely large telescope in Chile. If China is serious about establishing a more ambitious astronomy program, it will have to catch up pretty fast. It's a good thing then that it has the Tibetan Plateau. High, dry, isolated mountains are generally the best places for astronomy. There may well be other potential sites, perhaps even better ones, on the Tibetan Plateau that have not yet been explored. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.